the form team in English cricket in truth. And Tom Banton, who would prove to be the star of the show, was away immediately, flicking his first boundary four behind square on the onside. He likes the onside. Will Smead never really got going in truth. He got hit earlier on, got clanged on the helmet. Perhaps that shook him up a little bit. And Tom Curran took a smart catch at deep mid on from the bowling of Sean Abbott. Brought in Tom Cole Cadmore, yes. Yeah, Tom Cole Cadmore was absolutely brilliant, I thought. Batting with real power. What I like about the Somerset top three in particular, they all go about their business in slightly different ways. And you see here, kind of carving towards the next side boundary. That, that misfield from Evans kind of sums up part of Surrey's performance in the field. It was an in out performance, in truth, in the outfield. A couple of chances grasped as well. Will Jacks had a a day to forget, in truth, it would have been a screamer to have plucked that one out of the air, but there would be a repeat drop as well later on. Same combination. Tom Banton rode his luck. He also climbed into some extraordinary cricket shots at the same time. Tom Cola Cadmore is a strong and muscular batter who's making real strides in this Somerset side. Cola Cadmore eventually holed out to a lowish full toss from Tom Laws and he would have been cranky with himself because he was away. He was on 39 from just 23 at the time. Easy enough chance taken, snaffled by Will Jacks. But just as soon as one popped in, another popped out. And Will Jacks, normally so safe at backward point, was furious with himself by the end. Banton in return simply just went about his business five sixes in all he brought up his 50 with a flick off the pads he makes seven boundary fours in addition to those five sixes in all and hit 191 across his innings Sonnen Orion as ever came in and just changed the momentum of the innings Tom Abel was unable to really get going and the attempted reverse sweep was yeah. meat and drink really in truth Tom Laws with the catch Narayan's Narayan figures won't leap off the page um, but given the short boundary that he had to negotiate I think he, had, he did a really good job it was probably Surrey's best spell of the innings they really slowed Somerset down for two or three overs and it was Narayan the chief architect of that slowdown um, Lamy never really got going and, and it, it was almost inevitable that Narayan would get him Early in the 14th, someone said we're 130 for four, and you felt like the innings could go either way, but Banton was in. He's a player reborn in many ways. He's had a very good campaign, but this is really his statement inning so far of 2023. And with Ben Green opening his vast shoulders as well, the two of them really took this innings away. They put on 56 in no time at all. Banton's hands are lightning fast. Absolutely. And on Ben Green, the, by the way, the most Australian-looking Englishman with his mullet and moustache, he's had an incredible tournament with the ball. He's the leading wicket-taker in the competition. And we know he's dangerous with the bat, but I think, as you said earlier, the innings could have gone either way at that 14-15 over mark. And, and Green was the one who carried the momentum from Banton earlier in the innings to make sure that they got a properly imposing total yeah, they would put on 56 in just 24 deliveries to really ice this innings. Sam Curran in the end, who was frustrated with himself as much as anything else. A muted response to that caught and bold, and Banton's masterpiece was, was over. 84 from 44, 69 minutes of pure carnage, really, here at the Keir Oval. What these highlights won't show you is, is just how well Curran and Jordan bowled in those last two overs to really claw things back for Surrey. And so 208 for five, Somerset have done it well, but this is the oval, this is the Keir Oval, folks, where anything can be chased down. Chasing 209 to win with the pressure of expectation it was always going to be a tough ask. And Laurie Evans never really got going in truth. He got a life early on, a steepler that was grasped by Matt Henry.
from, the, from that moment on, Somerset were impeccable in the field, and that's one of the differences between the two sides, really. But Henry himself made immediate amends as Laurie Evans hit it hard but flat straight to Craig Overton, and it was an interesting tactical decision by Tom Abel, who was superb marshalling his troops all evening to go hard with Henry and Overton initially, three overs each from their, those pedigree international bowlers. Sullivan and Ryan had a bit of fun, four fours in eight deliveries, but it was just a little bit too too flimsy and a bit too much, too little in the end. At this he, point in the innings, Will Jacks hadn't really got going. He he really hit stride later on, but when Sullivan and Ryan came to wicket, sorry, really hadn't got going. Henry and Overton were excellent with the new ball, but Jack did eventually hit stride. Yeah, he felt like he had to do something against Craig Overton, who was hitting that heavy length. Gave himself a little bit of room and executed the ramp shot to free the shackles and followed it up with another maximum against Josh Davey. For a time, it looked like Will Jacks might be setting this game up for a real tight humdinger of a finish, as it was soon after reaching his half century came the key moment in the innings 25 deliveries to bring up his 50 but from his 26 after three sixes and four fours ish Sodi on debut for somerset dared to toss one up jack's got a lot of it but not enough and again the perfect embodiment of how good Somerset were in the field. Tom Kohler Cadmore pulls that one in. That would have gone all the way. It was a brave performance from Somerset in many ways. They really attacked with their bowling decisions in terms of who to bring on at certain points. And Sodi was rewarded for, for courage and, and really tossing up. He got hit for six a couple of times towards the end of his spell over his head, but he was brave enough to, to toss it up and picked up wickets as a result. Jamie Smith went for a blob first ball and it wasn't much better for Sean Abbott who came in to try and change the momentum and tempo of the innings, but could only succeed in nicking Overton to Tom Banton behind the stumps, who had an evening to remember. Sam Curran relatively becalmed initially, but he opened his shoulders in an enterprising partnership with Jamie Overton. And at that moment, yes, I thought it was on. They kind of kept the required run rate between 11 and 13 for a 5-6 over spell it never really let the game run away from them as it threatened to do earlier and you felt that Overton in particular you felt that was the only time in the game that Somerset didn't really have an exact plan of how to deal with him they put on 51 in a little over five overs and at that point you felt like the game was very much in that in the mitt of Surrey if they could just hold their nerve but it was Ben Green Ben Green again, who's had such an incredible campaign for Somerset, came into this game leading the wicket-taking columns across the whole of the country. And he was a blast, DJ Bravo. Um, not, not express pace, but so clever with his variations, mixing it up. He seems to have a really clear plan for every delivery. Tom Curran flickered briefly, but Ish Sodi, using all of those years of experience, moved him on. Curran went for just seven, caught by Tom Lamaby, who was superb in the field in the outer. And you felt that everything rested on Sam Curran at this point. Curran on 47, couldn't quite get underneath Matt Henry's slower ball, couldn't get enough of it. And Craig Overton, such an outstanding fielder anywhere across the arena, gobbled up the chance. With that moment, you felt like Surrey's race was run. Gus Atkinson, another easily snaffled by Overton. And by this point, it was merely a procession. Somerset, superb in the field, brilliantly marshalled, well conceived by the, the skipper. They are a well-oiled and very, very well-drilled cricket team. Little wonder that they already have a home quarter-final booked in even before this game. Surrey, on the other hand, yes. It's all to do on Sunday afternoon. 
game. It feels like it's a showdown with their near neighbours, Essex. Absolutely, and I think Somerset have, have laid a marker for the rest of the competition. They are the form team and they showed why today. They're won by 18 runs in a classic.